What's up, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the secret sauce, the secret sauce uh, in network marketing. I don't know if I, I, it's a nice, it's a good title. So, and I do think it's the secret sauce. What's the secret sauce? The secret sauce is confidence, right? I think this is a confidence game big time. Uh, if you're lacking in confidence, either personal confidence in your own abilities to talk to people, to expose, to invite, to present, to get in front of camera or whatever, uh, you're probably not going to do it. And if you do it, you're probably not going to do really well at it. Uh, and then confidence in the deal, confidence in your company, confidence in your products. If you don't think your product works, you're probably not going to be very good at selling it. Uh, if you don't have confidence in your leadership that they're gonna that they're making the right decisions and that they're doing the right things, you're probably not going to do very well. Uh, if you are lacking in confidence in your company and the people that are running your company and whether they're making the right decisions, I mean, it's it's a confidence game, man. This is this is you got you now. Look, there are things that we we can control our own confidence. I can control how confident I am relative to me going out and doing whatever it is I'm going to do each and every day. But you know. Uh, I, if somebody, if, you know, here's the thing about here, specifically uh, and about network marketing. Okay, the, there's only one thing that we don't control. Okay, there's only one thing. Network marketing is amazing. You can do your own hours, create your own schedule, work whenever you want, do whatever you want. There's, you know, and, and unfortunately, along with that, there's a lack of accountability, uh, which is a, a, a big downfall for a lot of network marketers for sure. But, you know, you have ultimate liberty. The only thing is that we don't have control over ownership decision making. So we're at the whim of that. You know, most network marketing company owners make really good decisions, not all of them, but most of them do. And any decision that they do make, they're likely making that decision because they want the company to grow. I've still, I've been in this lot for a long time. I've never met anybody, any owner that's like, man, I want to make a couple decisions to, you know, ruin the confidence that my field has in, in us and our abilities so that everybody stops recruiting. Because again, that's another thing about uh, confidence, having confidence in that thing that we're doing is it, it makes us lean in. It makes us lean forward. And guess what? When you have confidence in what you're doing and where you're going, other people are going to have confidence in you. Nobody wants to follow somebody who's lacking in confidence or unsure of themselves or they don't know what the heck they're doing. Uh, they don't know where they're going. This way day I'm going this way and next day I'm going over here and tomorrow maybe I'll just sit around. I don't know. I mean, that's the, like in a game of uh, people, uh, you know, do, wanting to do things where we're attracting people to be near us, to be around us, to follow us. We've got to be exhibiting a degree of confidence. And one thing I look, I know I've said this before, especially if you followed me, plugged into me. Uh, uh, look, this is something that I've, I've said way, way more than once, okay? And that is, you know, confidence, if we're looking at confidence in our ability to do something, which is different than confidence in people or, or things or organizations, uh, having confidence in our own ability to get something done is, first of all, a very important thing. Like, the, we have to understand that uh, if you look at if you look at people that are highly confident, the people that are highly confident are typically pretty good at what they do, right? They have a a, a degree of of competency, a degree of skill level. Uh, they they understand it, they get it, they know how to do it, they know how to navigate it, and because they have all of that, they're confident at it. So again, if you would think about that, like prospecting, recruiting, inviting, uh, addressing objections, or you know, social media, Facebook lives. You know, how, how do you fare in those areas? Like, are you super confident in all of those areas or do you need work? And if, and if, if you need work uh, and look, we all need work. I need work. <laughs> I mean, we're always, uh, hopefully we're always growing and, and wanting to, to do more and learn more. But you, if you got, and this is the part that I know that I've repeated many, many times, but I just, it, it just cuts through the clutter, you know, competence and confidence are related with one another. So competence 
is your ability, your 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 uh, your know-how, your wit, your your ease of navigating that what you're what you're doing. So it's it's really skill skill levels, right? And then you're then you got confidence. Well, if I got low skill and low com, com I'm going to have low confidence. If I have medium skill, I'm going to have medium confidence. If I have high skill, I'm going to have high confidence. And I do think that you need to have a high degree of confidence in this business. Why would you not want to have it? If having a higher degree of confidence means that you're more highly skilled at this business, then why the heck wouldn't you want to have that? I don't understand why you wouldn't want to improve your skill level, your competency, because if you improve your skill level, you're going to definitely do things better. You're going to get better results. You're going to get more done in less time. Uh, you're going to have greater successes. Uh, you know, th- th- there's, 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 the only thing that's bad about a high degree of confidence is when confidence moves to arrogance or confidence moves f- uh, from confidence to arrogance to cockiness or where you are where you look down upon people. I've, I've seen that. Okay. I get it. I've seen it. Um, and it's interesting because the, sometimes when you get really good at something, the humility goes away. I've seen it happen. I, I know that I'm good at what I do. I've been doing this for a long time. I don't, I mean, okay. That's just confidence. That's somebody who's like being on camera, for example, I'm confident staring into a computer or a computer, a camera lens in this case, and being able to talk to someone and not have to do 72 takes in order to do it. I've done it over and over and over. I have a high degree of competence around it, but I was to sit here and say, I'm the greatest camera dude. Anybody else who ever gets on camera absolutely sucks. You, no one is, no one is close to me. No one can do what I do. I mean, that's, that becomes unattractive. That's when you like confidence is attractive, but like arrogance and cockiness isn't. So I would say, and I'll say this, that if you are committed, which I hope you would be to developing your competencies, your confidence, uh, your ability to make an impact, to move, to influence people, which we're in a business of influence, then you should be doing everything in your power to work on your skill sets. Clearly, uh, you are. If you're watching me, you're you're plugging in. There's, look, every single post that I do, virtually, I mean, for, most certainly every blog post or podcast or YouTube t- video I put out is aimed at helping people to improve the results that they're getting, most specifically in network marketing, every aspect of network marketing, okay? So if you're watching me, if you're listening to me, you're plugging into me, you want to do that. But but it would be worth a self-check and just going, hey, how committed am I to this game of of skill development and improvement so that my I have a high degree of confidence knowing that confidence is attractive, okay? Confidence is a good thing to have. So you know, are you cruising along? Are you in, are you intentional about it? Are you uh, like what, what's the phrase? Obsessed with be, being as good as I possibly can. I'm going to do everything in my power to improve and to be you know work on and 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 I want I want to be the best that I can possibly be with the with the things that I have available to me to me that God gave me. You know, God gave us all different things. Some people have beautiful singing voices or the capacity to sing greater than others, or some people have the gift of gab. Some people are highly skilled with their hands and and they can develop that craft to a a level that's insanely good um and so we all have our different qualities but uh most certainly you have a quality and you have qualities that uh that can lend themselves well to being successful in network marketing my question to you again is you know are you really really working on it it's worth getting good you want to have confidence i think pretty much anybody i've ever met in the network marketing space would be like yeah dude i would love to have i would love to have confidence. I would love to be in a position where any talking to anybody anywhere at any time without a hesitation uh, is no big deal. I got, I'm not afraid. Nobody, nobody scares me. Come on. Speaking on a stage in front of 10,000 people, I was getting work, my back work done the other day. And this guy said, what do you do? I'm like, I, you know, I speak for entrepreneurs and he's like, wow, that, is that scary? I'm like, not really. He goes, how big of audiences you speak in front of? Well, last week I was in front of like 12, 1400 people. He's like, oh my gosh, what's the most people you spoke in front of? I don't, I didn't count them, but it was like 10 or 12,000. Oh, Wow, that's crazy, and and I I wish I could do that. Well, you you could, you could do that if you worked on your skill. In fact, I even said to him, I said, uh, I'm like, what is it you do? I can't I, now. I'm gonna forget what it's called. It's like NKT work, uh, uh, kinesthetic something. I I can't. Remember. I think it's three letters NKT. So, so I go, hey, you know, how long have you been doing this? Twenty years. I'm like, okay, cool. So. 
you know, if I if if you were uh, if you had to go up and talk to somebody about some specific thing, like some thing you did on my body today and why it works and how it works, could you do that? He's like, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know the human body inside and out. I'm like, well, you could speak in front of an audience on that very subject, whether it's a thousand or ten or twelve thousand people. He's like, oh yeah, interesting. So, you know, so but why? Because he has a high degree of confidence in that particular activity. Get me? Got it? Okay. So again, uh, you know, this, I guess this is a, a maybe a, an opportunity for you to self-check and see where you're at, you know, in terms of your, um, your confidence and having confidence is an absolute game changer for sure. For sure. Uh, there is an opportunity that I know for sure I can help you gain greater confidence, greater skill sets. It's coming up. We have a new A-team. It's a 12-week, 90-day accountability program that's starting very, very soon. Details are at the bottom of this post on this page, unless you're on my YouTube channel or on, pod, on my podcast. You guys are going to have to come over here. This episode, uh, details on this episode, toddfalcone.com. Again, T-O-D-D-F-A-L-C-O-N-E.com. And uh, if you got good ears and good memory and you're, you know, at the gym or on a walk, if you're driving, don't write this down. Uh, the details for a team, toddfalcone.com forward slash team, T E A M. Love to have you. And if you've never done it, it's going to be a great experience for you in improving your game. So have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time.